Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I'm your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord Thor 7 and with 16 hours left in my March Save Thor News fundraiser, I need $290 worth of miracles to make rent. So, I'm going to say my prayers and hope that you guys save my ass again. Every single dollar helps, so if you can, please make a contribution to my PayPal link located in the information box below. All right, now let's get to the heavy science. We are over at sciencemag.org. They're an organization. Talking about an ancient snowball Earth thawed out in a flash. So, you know, celestial mechanics is crazy. Nobody really knows what's going on, so we take our best guesses. For more than a half a billion years ago, our planet was a giant snowball hurtling through space. Oh. Glaciers blanketed the globe all the way to the equator in one of the mysterious Snowball Earth events. Geologists think occurred twice in the Earth's ancient past. Now, scientists have found that the final Snowball episode likely ended in a flash about 635 million years ago. A geologically fast event that may have implications for today's human-driven global warming. Oh wow, I am so fascinated, and we are just into this article. What is causing all of the changes in this very dynamic Earth process? Is it grand solar minimum? Is it planetary orbital angular momentum? Is it human-caused climate change? Is it aliens? Is it Planet X? Is it shit we don't know? Is the core waking up? I guess we'll find out. The ice, which built up over several thousand years, melted in no more than one million years. Oh, that's fast, huh? Says Shu Hai Zhao, a paleobiologist at Virginia Polytech Institute and State University in Blacksburg, who was a part of the team that made the discovery. That's the blink of an eye in our planet's 4.5 billion year history, suggesting the globe researched a sudden tipping point, Zhao says. Although the team doesn't know for certain what caused it, carbon dioxide emitted by ancient volcanoes may have triggered a greenhouse event. Oh my, causing the ice sheets to thaw rapidly. You know what, just by looking at all the dead animals and all the trash that's everywhere on the planet, in the oceans, in the rivers, and the lakes, we definitely have not done a very good job of being stewards and caretakers of our planet and can definitely do better. That's my opinion, you don't have to agree. To shine light on the pace of deglaciation, Ziao and colleagues dated volcanic rocks, it sounds like hot at the beginning, but that relationship probably cools off after. Sweet! From southern China's Yuan province, these were embedded below another kind of rock called a cap carbonate, unique deposits of limestone and dolostone that formed during Snowball Earth's shutdown in response to high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. You know, the whole atmosphere is a balance, whether it be oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and like the human body, it balances itself out eventually, I think, using radiometric dating techniques. Man, I should try those to spice up my love life. The team found the volcanic rocks were 634 million years old, give or take about 880,000 years. Alone, this single new date couldn't reveal the speed at which the melting happened. But in 2005, a different team of scientists dated volcanic rocks together. That's kind of freaky. Or kinky, use your own adverb, adjective. From above, a similar cap at a different location in China's Gzihao province. It kind of looks like Houston at the end. They were dated to 635. They were, they were, what the heck? They were, they were dated. That's not good. They were dated 635 million years ago. Give or take 570,000 years. Together, the two samples suggest a melting event was a quick thaw of about one million years. Xiao and his colleagues wrote last month in geology. You can write in geology? That's crazy. The key, <clears throat> Xiao explains, is that two of these dates are far more precise than those of past samples, with an error bias bars of less than a million years. Those error bars essentially bracket the period in which the carbon cap formed, and thus bound the period of the final snowball earth thawing event. Because previously discovered samples have error bars of several million years ago, 
Xiao says that these new dates are the first that can be to calculate the pace of melting with any certainty. However, because the two new samples come from southern China, they don't paint a global picture of the ancient thaw, says Carol DeHeller, a geologist at Utah State University in Logan. To do that, scientists would need to find a datable volcanic rocks from other parts of the world, which are about as common as unicorns. I got unicorns everywhere in Silicon Valley, I've heard. And once we get to 100 unicorns, we're going to bring peace and harmony to Earth. But she adds, they might be out there waiting to be discovered. Meanwhile, understanding the nature of these ancient glacial could help scientists dealing with climate change today. I think one of the biggest messages that Snowball Earth can send to humanity is that it shows the Earth's capabilities to change in extreme ways on short and long-term scales. So yeah, the Earth can get really hot, really fast, in processes we don't fully understand, either from the sun, from the solar system, from outside our solar system, or from inside the Earth. And so, this is just one cliffhanger, man. 2019, it is the cliffhangeriest cliffhanger we have ever known. And it's almost hurricane season. So, hang out for dear life. Keep your mind open because nobody knows everything and nobody has it all figured out. If you can, help and support Thor News. I would super appreciate it. Because <clears throat> I've given my all to this channel. Being an independent, the journalist, perception person. To bring you the best information, the most inspiration, and the best knowledge and questions that I can. And so, I love you. And um, I will talk to you guys soon. God bless everyone, and my PayPal link is located at the bottom. Miracles are always welcome around here. Every dollar helps. Thank you. God bless everyone.